Hey everybody, welcome back for another edition of Coach's Tips. Uh, today we're going to tackle the unique question of should you static stretch in between sets? Hey everybody, welcome back. Steven here. Uh, what we're looking at today is the rather unique question of should you static stretch between sets? Now I don't want this to turn into a bait between should you static stretch or not. Uh, there was a meta-analysis published in 2013 that looked at the benefits of static stretching and how it can also negatively impact your performance and what it's not good at. I will touch on a few of those points at the end. But what I want to talk about today is a 2016 study published in the Journal of Science and Sports that looked at uh, whether you should or should not static stretch in between sets. Now what they did was uh, had participants uh, lift to failure uh, with a number of uh, different exercises just like bench press and seated row and then they had the participants stretch the antagonistic muscle group. Now what they found was that you can lift or do more reps rather if you static stretch the antagonistic muscle group in between sets. Now that's important for another reasons because when we are training to failure what we find is that more volume is better for hypertrophy. So if you can stretch in between sets which allows you to do more reps which allows you to therefore do more volume uh, we can conclude that it would be uh, advantageous to do so if your goals uh, are to gain muscle size and hyper. Now my next point, point number two that I have on the board here, it does say still debated and I know I mentioned about a meta-analysis and they're normally fairly conclusive when you have a meta-analysis, however there are a uh, number of people out there that swear by it, uh, they say it helps you improve your movement patterns, but then Dr. Stuart McGill uh, has published a study saying it doesn't help you improve your movement patterns when you static stretch. Uh, what they did find and what was conclusive from this study or meta-analysis rather, was that you should not just static stretch before you participate in exercise or a sport. So if you're doing any sort of physical activity, you need to do more than just static stretch. Now one last point I did want to cover in my point number three here. Remember this isn't a complete video on static stretching. Uh, if you guys want me to do one, I can definitely do that as well. I've covered it with numerous posts on my Instagram page, which I will link down below if you want to read those. So point number three here, static stretching does not help with DOMS. So DOMS, for those of you who don't know, is delayed onset muscle soreness. That's what happens after you work out and your muscles are sore. Now, side note, that doesn't mean you had an awesome workout. Oh, my legs are so sore, I had an amazing workout. No, it doesn't mean that at all. What it does mean is that you've done something new. So getting a little off topic now, but if you do leg day once a week and you're always sore after leg day, that's because you don't do it enough. And it's a, a unique uh, movement uh, for your muscles to perform and that's why they're so sore. So getting back to this, static stretching does not help with DOMS. Well, that's it today. Thank you very much uh, for you guys tuning in. Don't forget to click that like, share, and subscribe button if you found this interesting. Uh, also, if there's anything else you want me to cover, uh, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to find the latest research for you and report back on that. Uh, until then, hopefully you guys learned something today.